Do you ever sit there some days and I, I realize I'm like going off on a tangent out and I just wonder Already? what's... Already? We're not even a minute in. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but do you ever wonder what's going to be like the next iteration of the internet? The next iteration of the internet. Yeah. I think the next iteration as we see the technology progressing as far as bandwidth capacity goes. Okay. And we're going to be learning a little bit about some of the advancements there uh, with the newsroom today. Because there's such a high demand for bandwidth right now, yeah. people who are working from home understand that your, your, you know, your dropouts may be the result of all of a sudden the ISP is handling a lot more traffic because people are now working it. from home. You think about an office. So let's say we've got an office with 50 people working. That's one internet connection that everybody's sharing. And right. so if there's problems, it affects that one office. Right. If, however, you've got now all of those 50 people working from home, we now have 50 internet connections. And those internet connections are doing what? Any guesses? When I work from home, what do I do? Stream Netflix. I do that. <laughs> Game. But I tend to remote in to oh, my office. Yes, that's right. right? Okay. So that one internet connection now at my office that used to have 50 people sitting there has now got potentially up to 50 people remoting in from home, mm. accessing that same internet connect, uh, connection to be able to work from home and remotely access their files and their computers and things like that. So you've got this whole kind of like bottleneck happening on the internet. So what's next for the internet? As, as things get faster, as things get like richer as far as the available bandwidth goes, are we going to see improved, well, improved performance automatically turns more impressive services? Yes. When high-speed internet came along, Change the world. Yes, but Netflix that you used to be able to order a DVD and they would mail it to you and, right. and you could you would rent movies from Netflix. This yeah. is how they got their start. So it was it was like a website that you would order a DVD and they would send you that DVD. Yeah. You would watch it just like you rented it from Blockbuster, and then you would return it. That's right. Then now it's all online. Then high speed internet came along and you know what Netflix is now. Yeah. So what is going to progress? How are things going to change? How are things going to improve? Like what is next? It's all, you know, who, who knows what's going to improve? What's going to change? I keep thinking it's going to go completely wireless. If mm -hmm. you can remove that physical cable. Uh, are we challenge. there yet? Are we already there? Uh, to some degree. I uh, mean, I use the tech, Wi Fi. Yeah, the lot. tech is there, but I think from an infrastructure standpoint, we're not there. There's a whole lot that would have to come in place to make that more sure. reliable. But at the same time, you've got, um, is it um, a Tesla working on their satellite network yeah. that's going to hit the globe? Not Tesla, but uh, SpaceX. Yeah, yes. SpaceX. Sorry. Yeah. Same, same CEO. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Same, same Twitter. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> same shenanigans. That's right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I think it's going to be wireless and I think it's going to allow bandwidth to go so much faster. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it progresses over the years and, and what mm -hmm. changes. What's, uh, what's really kind of catching my, my eye is this COVID app that we've got in Ontario. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think it's across Canada for that randomly connects with Bluetooth. So that if you've walked near somebody that has tested mm. positive for COVID, you get an oh. alert that goes, Hey, you get, don't, don't interact with that person. Well, no, you get an alert that says you recently interact with somebody who has been tested positive. Oh, wow. So this is happening all in the back end on your device. And I'm, and mm. so I was thinking about that going, this is just with Bluetooth. Is there a way to have almost like hot spotting as you go mm. with mobile phones that would allow this constant wireless network to be like, pew, 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 pew. So interesting. I mean, a couple of things come to mind, Jeff. First, first of all, when you start talking about wireless, I start thinking about, man, that would be so expensive. But the interesting thing is that with the progression of technology and the, the betterment of the underlying infrastructure, the cost to the end consumers goes Drops. down. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to see that price go down. So maybe my my smartphone and the ability to connect to 5 6g internet is going to drop 
Yeah. And when that happens, now all of a sudden autonomous vehicles become much more autonomous. That's right. Because they're internet connected all the time with a high speed internet connection. Yeah. And and then we've got all these new new technologies that can just open up. That's right. Yeah. And things like these apps that that communicate. But then the second thing that comes to mind is now you've got everybody calling Big Brother. Oh, of course. You're there now. Yes. Yes. But where is the line where we say, okay, well, we want Big Brother to some extent. I want Google to be able to tell me if an earthquake is going to hit in California. Absolutely. If I, I live that. in California. Yeah. It's smart. And and so the, there comes a point where you say, okay, well, I'm, gonna, I'm going to allow Google to have access to my telemetry. Yeah. But then how much trust are you putting in this company? So, so there's, a, there's, the, yeah, there's, a, there are all these considerations. I think in general, the human race, uh, as, as a broad brushstroke, so not everybody, but as a broad brushstroke, I think we're always going to go with the times of advancement. I mean, you look at when as a whole, as a whole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you look at when Facebook came out and it changed the way that we do online permissions. It used mm -hmm. to be, you had to give permission to access your information. Yeah. And with Facebook, they said, no, no, you need to give us, you need to tell us what you don't want us to share. And now and we're going to, and we're going to change that every six months. Exactly. And you're going to have to be on top of that because That's otherwise right. you've basically opted in because you're using our free platform. That's right. And it's changed the internet. Now everybody does that where it's like, you tell us what you don't want us to share. You tell us what you don't want us to have access mm -hmm. to. And I think in general, most people, again, general broad brushstroke, uh, most people are like, you know what? It's the convenience of it. I'll deal with it. And they just, yeah. they, they seem to want to ignore it. That's my sense of things. So I think if we get to that point where it's like all of that information is just kind of bouncing between phones, I don't know if too many people are going to care. Hmm. It's going to be interesting. So I, I've often been of the mindset where it's like, I don't do anything that I would be a, afraid for somebody to know about. Right. But there's also like identity theft and, and yeah. tracking and, and the ability for, you know, the big brother to see, you know, the trends of my lifestyle, where I go, where I buy my coffee at what time, which then boils down to, okay, well now, you know, where I'm going to be right now, all the data would say, wow, that guy sits on the couch a lot. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I practically get up and stop at Starbucks and, and sit at my desk for oh, 10 hours ever since That's COVID my day. Hit. And then I'm at the studio working, working, working. Yeah. 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 Anyway, didn't what mean are, to take us on a tangent. What are your thoughts? I mean, it's, it's an interesting discussion. I mean, because this is, it's a transition that is happening and, yeah. and is going to happen. And I think the pandemic has also kind of pushed us to need change in regulations, in the infrastructure and in the technologies that are there. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, how is that going to impact us as a society, as, as people? as individuals and and you know what are what are your thoughts comment below it's a good discussion to have with the community oh for sure absolutely it is